All right, so before we start today's video, I just want to thank you for the 200 subscribers. I think I'm just over 200 at the time of filming this. Just want to thank each and every single one of y'all for subscribing and watching the content. So let's get into today's video. All right, so before I get too ahead of myself here, let's see what we got going on today. So finally for the Mini, we got some coilovers. These are the Godspeed Mono SS. And we're finally gonna close up that wheel gap because all cars should be dropped. So I'm gonna set the preload because these are all just thrown together from the factory. So I'm gonna do that on the fronts and then when I get the backs off, I'm gonna set the preload since we have to reuse the rear top hat for the backs. Why they couldn't just design a rear top hat, it's beyond me, but let's get this on and get the Mini finally lowered. Surprisingly for the Mini, it doesn't look like it's gonna be a pain in the ass like everything else is on this car, but I haven't put wrenches to anything yet, so I probably jinxed myself. So just up top here, the three bolts there look like 13s or 12s. The pinch bolt through here. Undo the stabilizer link right there. Hammer the knuckle down off of the shock mount itself. And then it should come right out. So let's do that and get one of these stock ones out so we can size up the coilover for height adjustments. Wow, that was painful to say. It's probably painful you guys are here. But let's, let's move on. So as I was rolling the coilover around to start adjusting the preload, it says it's set from the factory. Do we trust it? Do we adjust it? You know what? We're just gonna send it, and if it rides like ass, I'll adjust it tomorrow. So, just as I thought, simple process, a little hammering, a little penetrating lube, and it came out pretty easy. Looks like this front shock was kinda beat up too. I don't know if they're supposed to have that weird flat spot over there or not, but it almost looks a little bent. Anywho, determined to take two inches off the coilovers total install height. This stock one was at 22 and a half inches uncompressed, so I left this one at 20. Just to close up some of that wheel gap. I'm gonna throw these on and see how the front looks.
I took the driver's side off with the stabilizer link attached because it comes with replacement adjustable stabilizer link since the shock body is a lot shorter. So I'll show you what those look like on the car. So it comes with these right here. Let me focus. All right, well the camera's having trouble focusing on it, but it comes with the adjustable stabilizer links right there. And I'm gonna throw the wheels on and get on the back now. So I did reuse the stock bolts just cause they had the cut and the paint mark where they were and they're slotted. So that should keep my camber relatively close to stock before we get into alignment. So let's move on to the back and see how the rest of it looks. All right, so the backs are very easy to take off. You just have the 121 right here. You got 113 right there and another one right here, kind of behind the brake line. You can't really see it. So yeah, there's the two. There's the one in the back and then the one up here, two 13s you take out. And then the whole shot kind of just wiggles out of place. So let me get the coilover set up and adjusted and throw them on. Do what you think I told you to do over there. Or do you forget already? No, you told me to like go, go fast until it makes a little puppy noise. No, give it gas and then let go really quick so the blow off out goes off. I did it. That time. I did it. Gorgeous prelude right there. All right, so that's it for the Mini. We got the suspension on. It rides okay. I still think I have to adjust the preload in the front because it was a little little shaky side to side. But um, overall, I like how it looks. It uh, came out really nice. To me, it, it looks just like a normal height Cooper until I really start looking at the back and it starts tucking tire. So that's gonna do it for this one. Eventually we're gonna get working on that one. And so thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe, comment, and share, and we'll see you next time.